we're planning for eighth grade STEM today with a little bit of seventh grade math and science thrown in too because that happens in the afternoon so we don't necessarily plan for it in the morning. Um, but eighth grade STEM, what the kids do is they rotate through four sessions a day and those four sessions are grouped together based on their NWEA writ goal for math. And then science wise, I try to fill in grouping where I need to, but we're basing this, grouping the students based more on math because we realize that that has a better probability of them growing where they need to grow. They have similar skills that they need to work on. Science, it's all kind of new for all of them and they do have the same background information, but as long as they're grouped based on that math goal, they have the background knowledge they need in those different levels. So that's how we grouped them. And then what we do every day is we decide when we want the kids to be doing what we want them to be doing. So on Friday of last week, math had a quiz, a couple of students weren't here for that, and so we made sure that we fit them into our schedule today with specific time slots to finish that quiz. Some students didn't finish um, a couple of assessments from last week, a couple of just formative snapshots, and so we put them in groups to make sure that they finished those. And then every day they have a math teacher session and a science teacher session where you're learning something new and then you're leaving the session and you're working on something independent related to it. So in science, I give a lot of videos, I give a lot of um, images to put into your notes and talk about with the people around you and then here, take this exit slip so I know what I need to reteach for the next day. And yeah, when we get together in the morning to plan, we just kind of all, we all hands on deck, we fill in our agenda for the day. Then when we all meet together in STEM, we have all of the eighth graders in the room together with us three teachers and we talk about what's happening that day, what you're learning that day, and then what you're doing when you're independent that day. And then the kids break apart to make their to-do lists. Some of them have graduated out of the to-do list and they don't actually write down everything that they do every day anymore. Some of them still need the to-do list. And then for some of our uh, special education students, our teacher actually makes them their to-do list for the day so that they know what they're supposed to be following. And then. From there, we teach four 30-minute sessions a day. I moved around the group we had last, excuse me, second, and I put them back last because okay. I like to teach in ascending order, I feel like. Oh, okay. it was easier for yeah, me to that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, there are two people that have to take the quiz still. Antonio, whoever was absent on Friday, I think it was Damien. Antonio. Yeah, Damien. So can we put them maybe uh -huh. in their independent that they can do that? Maybe I'll put them in the first snapshot time, okay. and then they can work on it then. Mm -hmm. So Antonio. Damien's gonna be in your first session though. Mine? Yeah. Okay. Do they have to take it at the same time, or is it cool with you if they don't? Uh, no. And I've got 22 people out of all seventh and eighth grade. Not too bad. It's a one fourth percent so far that have done at least 44 lessons um, so because I think that's pretty much getting to the end of your playlist even though they've had <coughs> other playlists mm -hmm. so um, yeah how many hours though how so many it's gonna hours be worth, like, they say for, like, um, for this quarter oh this is for the quarter yeah, that's just for the quarter that's a lot of lessons yeah. No, no, not the lessons. The hours, oh, the hours, is, the hours is for the Oh, and lessons is total. And lessons is total. Yeah. But this is the pre-assessment that I'm going to give them. Oh, good. How so, do, what is that? Do you okay. see any other kids that you want in this group, though, that are in that seventh grade class? Because I can just okay, stick them in the open group. the night group. Right. Your seventh graders? Um, can you read it to me? Vanessa Yahira, Alondra Natalie, Brian Oscar, Dalia Evelyn, Dakota Leilani, Brandon Javier, and Michael. So I can probably add like three more if you need it. I know, there should be some more. Um, I would add... So they're in there though because of my exit slip from yesterday about distance time. So for sure you need Yahira, Vanessa, Danae, Shariah, Brian. Hold please. Danae, Shariah, Brian. I have Brian already. Okay. Alondra, you already said. Uh -huh. Lynette. Mm. Do you have Ecker? Now I do. Okay. I think I can fit one more top. Edwin. Mm. 